Nowadays, there seems to be a struggle with accepting accountability for our actions. Instead of reflecting, owning up to our mistakes and saying, hey, I was wrong, I shouldn't have done that or said that, and I will make the effort to do better, what we've started doing is blaming our zodiac signs for our behavior. We blame our gender or skin color as reasons why we can't succeed, and we've even started to diagnose ourselves with mental health disorders to feel better and compensate for things that we know we can do but don't want to do. This victim mentality and fatalistic mindset is rampant in our society today, especially when it comes to Gen Z. And in this video, we are going to be dissecting this. So while you're at it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on for more content. Okay, so first things first, what does having a victim mentality mean? People with a victim mentality often attribute their difficulties and challenges to external factors. In other words, they blame others or the world for their misfortunes rather than taking responsibility for their own actions or seeking proactive solutions. Now, when it comes to someone who has a victim mentality, there are different ways that this shows up. I'm gonna give more concrete examples in a moment, but just to paint a broader picture. A victim mentality can take the form of shifting blame, making yourself out to be helpless, focusing on negativity such as perceived injustices or obstacles, having a lack of accountability and feeling dependent on others to solve problems or provide solutions rather than taking initiative themselves. This negative outlook is what leads to a fatalistic attitude where we find ourselves trapped in a mindset that perceives life as predetermined. Fatalism implies that as individuals, we don't have any control over the course of our lives and that things will happen in a certain way regardless of the actions or choices we make. And this seems to be the overarching trend in our society now, where instead of being proactive and trying to find solutions, we blame external factors. For example, people with a victim mentality will use their gender or skin color as reasons why they can't excel or succeed. I've heard people say, well, I'm a woman of color. The reason why I can't succeed is because the patriarchy is holding me back. They'll blame astrology for their behavior. So they'll say, oh, that's just the Gemini in me. My fourth moon rising is really affecting my mood swings today. Like, like what? People with a victim mentality will also self-diagnose themselves and they'll say, oh, I can't take on that project because I'm neurodivergent. Now, I do want to say that I recognize that mental health disorders are very much real and people are experiencing and suffering with them, right? However, self-diagnosing out of nowhere to justify why you can't take on a challenging task or project is giving victim mentality because there is nothing that is stopping you from seeking accommodations or even better communicating to your supervisor and colleagues to help you. I've heard people use their race as a reason why they get low grades on their exam. They'll say, yeah, it's because I'm the only brown kid in my class. It's like my teacher doesn't like me. I can't succeed no matter what I do. Even in relationships, people with a victim mentality will say, I always end up with terrible partners. I can't find someone good because everyone out there just wants to hurt me. I'm destined to be alone. They'll say this whenever a relationship doesn't pan out. When it comes to being healthy, people with a victim mentality will say, it's impossible for me to stay fit. Genetics are against me and healthy food is too expensive. I just can't exercise regularly. I don't have enough time and life is just too hectic. These are just a few examples and as you can notice, Everything outside of themselves seems to be an inconvenience. Instead of putting the onus on themselves, acknowledging, hey, something's not working, I seem to be the common denominator as to why things aren't going the way that I want, people with victim mentalities will literally blame everything from their bosses to the government, rather than themselves as to why their life isn't going the way that they want and as to why they're not achieving their goals. Now, why am I focused on this? What is the problem with the victim mentality? Well, what I've observed is that continuing to operate in this mentality, in this mindset, what it does is it puts us in this endless cycle of self-sabotage and defeat, where we feel like the world is against us. 
Failing to accept accountability prevents us from tapping into our full potential, and it just creates more negativity and inner tension than anything, if I'm being honest. And I do want to share with you all a personal example of how easy it is to get into this mentality because of the narratives, because of social media posts that have been perpetuated in society. So about three weeks ago, I was asked to give a human trafficking presentation. Really the people who are working in this field, they are top-notch security people. So predominantly men, there are a few women like sporadically that you'll see, but I remember very specifically, I walk into this room, right? And right off the bat, there are so many men. There are these high top-notch security professionals who are like managers who work for like the Kennedy Space Center. They work for malls, right? And they're like the managers that are overseeing the security in these industries and in these organizations. And, you know, I walk in, keep in mind, I'm 23 years old. These people are probably in their late 50s, early 60s. They're like on the brink of retiring. And I'm walking in and like nobody acknowledges me. Nobody sees me. Everybody's kind of having their own conversations. And my first thought is, oh my gosh, like I'm the only woman in this room right now. Oh my gosh, predominantly the people in the room were all, you know, white men. And I think, oh my gosh, like, brown i'm 23 i'm young they're not going to take me seriously and i literally start victimizing myself in my own head i literally start self-sabotaging and i noticed that i started feeling very antsy very anxious and i didn't like understand why because once again i'm thinking oh my gosh like i'm the only woman in this room keep in mind there is nothing wrong with being the only woman in a room what was happening was that my own insecurity one, me self-sabotaging two, is what was preventing me from connecting to these individuals, from connecting with these men. I started victimizing myself based on my gender, based on my skin color, based on my age, to kind of justify, okay, well, if they don't take me seriously, it's because they're prejudiced. If they don't take me seriously, then maybe it's because they have, you know, an ageism problem. Maybe it's because they're, you know, anti-woman. I literally start to think like this, and I had to check myself so fast. I had to literally stop in my track and say, Hannah, what is wrong with you? Why am I thinking like this? Why am I using my gender, my skin color, as a way to self-sabotage and diminish myself? Why am I trying to victimize myself and act like I'm oppressed when the reality is I have an opportunity to stand in front of top-notch security professionals who can help me advance in my career? And I forced myself to stamp out of it and I started making conversation with this guy. Needless to say, after that presentation, out of the 30 men in that room, they all smiled and acknowledged how well prepared and how beneficial the presentation was. They all thanked me. They all introduced me to other, you know, their other friends and they invited me to attend another conference that I'll be going to this month. This is all to say that it can be so tempting and easy to have a victim mentality, believing that you are oppressed, believing that life is working against you, believing that you are bound to fail because of your genetics, because of the narrative that society has adopted. Stop letting society tell you, oh, because you're a minority, it's going to be so much more difficult for you to achieve X, Y, and Z. Stop letting your race or your gender limit you. Get out of the victim mentality. It's complete self-sabotage. Your own mindset is preventing you from advancing, climbing, and growing. Your own self-image, your own self-esteem. You are capable of changing your life. Even though you can't change the cards that you're dealt, you can change the way that you play the game. And all it takes is one decision. So if this is something that you've recognized you've been doing or falling into, the question now is, how can we as Gen Z break away from the victim mentality? How can we get rid of this fatalistic attitude? Well, the first is to stop using social media as an escape every time you feel helpless or every time something happens that you think is out of your control. I noticed that I used to do this a lot. Every time something would happen to me and I just felt so like defeated or anxious, I used to grab my phone and I used to go on Instagram, go on TikTok, and I just scroll mindlessly. And what this happened was that it started clouding my judgment. These videos that I'd be seeing started leading me to feel anxious and tense, and it just was not conducive to my overall like well-being and how I was feeling. So what I started doing was I tried to find a different outlet for calming down my nervous system. I specifically do a seven minute, silent moment where I will literally lay down on my floor, close my eyes, and breathe. 
And after those seven minutes, I feel so much more collected and at ease. So try to find an outlet that'll help you once again cope and learn to heal and grow from the feelings that you're currently feeling. The second way to break away from having a victim mentality and get rid of a fatalistic attitude is to stop using self-gratification as an escape. Getting your hair done, your nails, a massage, etc. Once again, it feels good in the moment, but it doesn't help us heal. It doesn't help us deal with the overwhelming feelings and emotions that you're going through. So finding an outlet to help you process what your thoughts and feelings are will help you learn to cope and deal with them in a healthy manner. For me specifically, once again, I journal all the time. Writing down exactly what's going on helps me process and collect my thoughts so that I can take accountability for my errors, for my shortcomings, and then create an action plan for how I intentionally am going to move forward. And finally, the third way to get out of a victim mentality is to want to do better and decide to do better. Set goals. Normalize making mistakes and not seeing results right away. I started my YouTube channel when I was 15. I definitely archived some of my older videos, but it wasn't until 2024 this year, I'm 23 years old, that I finally published a video that got 4,000 views. So from 15 to now, and I'm 23, like I said, so eight years, it took eight years to get here. And I'm obviously not where I want to be, but I'm growing, I'm still learning, and the process is how you build resolve and resiliency. This is where you learn the most, and this is what builds your character. So now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on having a victim mentality and fatalistic mindset? Do you think it's prevalent in our culture and our society today? If so, what have you been seeing and hearing? Or do you think I'm completely blowing this out of proportion? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on for more content. And I will see you with a new video very soon.